men's or women's. But Brazil are a different animal these days. Years seasoned on the World Series and out for revenge in the bronze medal match at Santiago 2023. Talismanic Luisa Campos gets us underway and it's returned with great gusto from the Colombians who are swarmed upon despite the nice feet of Valentina Tapias. Very physical close up. Maria Fior Avanti. Just in there, showing her strength and getting fended off before Luisa Campos throws her body onto the rail tracks. Just dropped under pressure. From Bianca Silva appearing in the front view. And there's real just sort of genuine tension in this match. These two afford each other on so many levels from South American games to Pan Americans on all in between. Very unusually, a uh, prop flat on her face from the engagement. It's not like the 15 aside format, this in sevens. It is a contest but far less pressure going through those torsos and those necks. But a nice clean platform for Brazil, who of course, look to Talia Costa. Talia Costa, absolutely electric as ever. No one has scored more tries for Brazil at sevens than Talia Costa. And she adds another one to her the already bulging chapter in Brazilian women's sevens written on her. First blood to Brazil. Oh, that was right on the wire and it took some deliberation. That was half a percent from being perfect. A number of the Colombians with that bronze medal sat at home on display or in the sock drawer, wherever. These great athletes keep their riches. And five as well being called upon from WXV3, which was taking place in Dubai over the last few weeks, the Global Women's 15s competition. And one of them is Juliana Soto, who carries Colombia to the 22. Next, it's Azuga. Colombia. Very physical, very narrow at the moment. And bested at the breakdown by Brazil, who are screaming for the ball to go wide. They're screaming for it to get into Talia, lightning Costa's hands. Sit back, enjoy the show. Costa's in for a double. That's the danger of Brazil on the break. You get turned over, Costa is waiting out in the wings. And if it's not Costa, it's probably Gabriela Lima. From a very remote area, 
in the north of Brazil, Talia Costa, her and her twin, Talita. Colombia with it all to do. And opting to kick through Tapias. Gathered. It's worked out very nicely indeed. They do need to protect the ball on the floor as a hard shoulder from Zenalato. Room in the backfield. A kind bounce as well until it wasn't. Camilla Lopera left grasping at thin air as Costa gets freed again on the right-hand side. Colombia need to reorganise. Some heavy-looking legs from the women in blue at the moment. And the pop inside, the bounce off the right, the stutter. And then Zanelato, Zanelato! Always in the thick of things. And this time, getting herself in the thick of the try scoring action in this first half. Brazil perfect in their conversions. Nicolau adding the extras. And Brazil racing into a 21-0 lead. They retain the kickoff and will be allowed to try and strike again. Campos. Costa. Talia Costa. Failed by Soto. Switch being offered by Campos. So dogged in everything that she does. The 33-year-old. Gomez just trying to find a way through. A little bit lateral, so puts Colombia on the defensive front foot. Talia Costa just comes barreling in like a little cannonball. Stodgy and exhausting work from both sides. Gomez switches with Zanelato, who shifts it back to Gomez. Zanelato, tick attacker passing between Gomez and Zanelato, but Campos is on it now. And then it's Quicksilver Costa for a first half hat trick. Talia Costa. Three of Brazil's four first half tries, which have all been converted. And they lead Colombia 28 points to nil. With only a half played in the bronze medal match. So much to do for Colombia, blown away by Brazil in the first half. And Brazil buoyed by that performance, a full of running. Yasmin Suarez, who made her debut on the World Series in Toulouse in May. Her burst has freed up room for Milena Silva. Silva can't find Costa.
Brazil absolutely rampant. That will be the last bit of action for Valentina Tapias. A bronze in Lima, but a bronze looking bleak in Santiago as far as the Colombians are concerned. Camille Lopera. Who not only got a try in normal time, but slotted the conversion to take the game to extra time and then score the winner in extra time. Oh, she's been starved of opportunities to have a big impact. There are game breakers in Colombian colours out there, but they're coming up with too many errors at the moment. The overthrow, meaning Gabriela Lima is going to stretch her legs and she's going to round Bianca Dos Santos Silva. She rounds Juliana Soto and Gabriela Lima glides across for another score from Brazil. This at the moment is a sevens masterclass from Brazil. Colombia looking for anything, Soto getting a hard fend to move on a few more metres. Laura Mejia, oh, she's someone who knows how to come up with a big score. Scored the nation's first ever try at a Rugby World Cup Sevens in Cape Town last year against none other than the mighty Black Fern Sevens. But right now, her and her team are being dominated in every facet of the game. This time, the breakdown. And this time, by Mariana Nicolau. Brazil will take an element of comfort from this bronze, but I just wonder what they'll be thinking when they look back and they look at that final group match against Canada, the one where they led with about two and a half minutes to go before getting edged out. That took them to a semi-final against the USA. which they lost comprehensively this morning and took them to this bronze against Colombia. Had they managed to close out that Canada match, they would have met Colombia in the semi-finals and they could have been in a gold medal position. But if buts and maybes don't win your medals, they're now doing the best they can. The Yaras to go out on a high. Suarez. Suarez pins Arias back. Too much pace, too much desire. Listen to that intensity.
Another try for Brazil. 40 points beckons with the conversion. And another look at the zip and really a tackle that should have been made by Laura Pacheco. Tough afternoon moves into the final two minutes for Colombia. Looking for an avenue. Brazil not supporting their way. Nahaya takes it to the yellow jerseys, but look at the ferocity of the tackles that keep coming in. Andrea, Andrea Alves. Pop off the floor. Brazil with another decision and with another platform to launch yet another attack. So Brazil will be bronze medalists just like they were back in 2015 in Toronto. Just shows what a few years dining at the top table of sevens on the World Series can do for your game. Brazil have not just been participating, they've been taking some major scalps along the way to, but they'll be taking a bronze back home to Brazil. And Andressa Alves streaks home for a try of her own. Utterly dominant from start to finish. Brazil, the worthiest of bronze medalists with a demolition job on Colombia. No conversion added, but the celebrations can now officially commence. Brazil have bronze at the Pan American Games here in Santiago 2023.